Hey, good morning everybody instead of good evening. So, doing a little test run here with uh, Command Modern Operations. Trying to represent a Chinese all-out counter value strike against the United States and I've placed U.S. Uh, ballistic missile defense systems. Let me go to guide's eye view. Well, let me switch sides here real fast. So we got our ground-based interceptors. We've got Patriots. We've got Thads. We've got Aegis or Arleigh Burks with Aegis uh, Defense SM threes, SM twos. We got Aegis Ashore. We've got a whole group of U.S. cities. I have deployed. Let me switch sides again here. For the Chinese side, I have deployed, to the best of our knowledge, there's a website called Missile Threats, and to the best of our knowledge, I've deployed their intercontinental ballistic missile ranged weapons. So we got the Dofang 31As. I could not find 31 um, in Command Modern Operations, the 31 AGs, so I just put more 31As. We have the Dofang 41s. We're not entirely sure their capabilities and how many of them they are. That's a relatively new one, but I did deploy, again, model to the best of our knowledge. We have Dofang 5As, we have Dofang 5Bs, I did not put any Dofang 4s. So, you see they're already starting to launch some other warheads, and um, I've targeted some specific locations first, and then it's just going to be all out let the computer AI do the rest let's hit it so kind of increasing the speed here they took off pretty fast I'm gonna try to keep it going even a little faster because it's gonna take a second so and I'm gonna switch sides to the United States side so you can kind of see so we're gonna see the threats coming in it's gonna take a second though so very interesting week for me personally but um, looking at some of the stuff uh, China just recently tested one of their mid-course ballistic missile defense systems and so they said they successfully intercepted an ICBM like weapon. So it'll be very uh, interesting. So they have been increasing their ICBM silo counts. Their actual silo counts now surpass the United States. Now we don't know exactly if you know they have actual missiles deployed to all these silos, but China's definitely moved away from their previous doctrine of minimum deterrence, which is basically having a nuclear nuclear arsenal um, just enough to be able to threaten an adversary they're moving away from that to a greater range of more into the strategic use they've also maintained what they've considered a no first use policy now whether or not that remains or if that would actually be in practice it's hard to say but um, their nuclear capabilities was pretty comparable to France for many many years and now they have started to build up more recently and now they're building up ballistic missile defense just a lot of interesting developments um, very very curious to see what's kind of going to come from this all right so we're starting to pick up a little bit here So you see we have some different radar installations. We have the sea-based radar that's tied in with the um, ground-based interceptors. I'm trying to figure out. Did I deploy that thing backwards? 
me just check something real fast, make sure I got that deployed in the right direction. I did not, so good thing I caught that. Better check Patriot or Omni no directional. Let me just check my Thad battery. important call all right I apologize these videos are a little longer when it comes to command monitor operations they just take longer so one of the things as I'm working to integrate command modern operations with the nuclear war simulator it'll be probably doing two-part videos because it just ends up being too long I ended up fast-forwarding through the other one because it ended up I mean when I combined the two it was an enormous amount it was like 35 minutes and nobody wants to listen to me ramble on for 35 minutes I don't want to listen to me ramble on for 35 minutes I know that perhaps my wife she probably wouldn't want to hear me ramble on for 35 minutes either but she says it's because I'm a Sagittarius all right, so we have some ground-based interceptors being fired off. Let's see how they do. Again, right now, this attack is of a more limited scope. As we're waiting on that, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to switch sides. I'll go to China. So I'm going to say side doctrine. I'm going to say yes, engage any contact. Just going to get them to just start letting loose with the remaining weapons they have. And then under here, I'm going to go to sides I'm gonna all right so you see they're starting to target so I'm gonna switch back we're gonna see a massive amount of targets now but I'm gonna switch back and I'm gonna switch to the United States so we're going to be really testing our defense systems here. Looks like we're firing off more of our interceptors. So we have ground-based interceptors here in Alaska. We have them in California. So I also put three down three Arleigh Burks. The simulation's testing my uh, poor little PC as much as it can. Although, I won't say it's a poor little PC. I mean, we're sitting here rocking out. Well, we just lost Baltimore. Oh, man. You know. Come on, man. Baltimore, Washington, gone. Arlington, gone. Newport News. Jeez, man. Toledo. 
Why would you even target Toledo? Columbus, my hometown. Fuck. Dayton. Seattle. Yeah. So you see here, the ground-based interceptors are trying to intercept. Let's just take a look real fast. So far. Looking like they're kind of getting overwhelmed. Not seeing a lot of success on these interceptions. You see, they're trying to. Saw Singlewood. And I think this represents some of the difficulty, especially when you've got merved warheads and everything. There's the attempt to try to intercept these, but the systems are just being overwhelmed. I'm going to do, uh, let's go ahead and decide, I'm going to make sure. Defenses. Take a look here at the Aegis Ashore, or the, not the Aegis Ashore, but the Arleigh Burks. They just don't seem to fire too often. Now this one is coming very close. Hoping to see if it engages. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe if you're a command modern operations guy, you could tell me maybe if there's a trick to getting these to engage, maybe it's just their weapon systems aren't quick enough to respond. I don't know what it is, but they almost never seem to attempt to intercept. So we see more things being fired. Looks like they're almost all ground-based interceptors, but they are desperately trying to fire off everything they can to penetrate these incoming warheads. Come on, man. Come on, let's protect what's left of the United States. They're trying. Look at this one, man. That guy's booking. You know, these guys look like they missed. Come on. Looks like we're probably overshooting them. Just lost torrents. I think we did. Did we just take one out? So when I ran this with a very limited attack, one or two missiles, ground-based interceptors actually did a good job of intercepting them. But here with these massive attacks, I don't know where the hell West Jordan is. 
because they seem to be having Vallejo, Stockton, Hayward, Fairfield, Santa Clarita, St. Paul, North Las Vegas, Lancaster, Palmdale, Paradise. Well, it ain't a paradise no more now, is it? Pasadena, Vegas, El Monte, Downey, Sioux Falls, man, West Valley City, Norwalk, Rancho Cucamonga. My wife used to live there, man. That's not good. Concord, Oakland, Salinas, Modesto, Richmond, Santa Clara, Reno, Spokane, Spokane, Salem, Portland, Sacramento, Dallas, Bellevue, Honolulu, Ages of Shore, gone. All right, I had a little pause there, had some uh, some things to take care of, but so one thing I'm seeing is that the uh, Arleigh Burks are firing SM3s. They're missing, but they are attempting to actually engage them. So I'm just not capturing it as it's going through. Um, right now, the SM3s, the Thads, I mean, everything's missing, so to speak. So, yeah. Uh, Continue. We just lost an H's the shore side on Poland to hit us. Bakersfield. Oh, come on. We can't lose Bakersfield. Visalia. Fremont. So we're continuing to fire interceptors. So it looks like that's it. That's all she wrote. So clearly we did our best to attempt to intercept, but saturation attacks are clearly one of the best strategic options when it comes to nuclear warfare to the best of our simulations, which I'm not saying this is the best simulation, but command modern operation, at least the professional edition, is used by a lot of US, you know, a lot of militaries around the world. Again, it's a simulation. It's only going to go so far. Let's see here. So as markers for cities, we did lose 67 of them. Looks like we fired off or lost 104 ground-based interceptors. We did try to engage at least somewhat. The M163A1s. Twelve SM3s. We fired off six Patriots. I don't see Thad, which unless I'm missing it here, but I know we fired several Thad missiles. Or I'm sorry, those were losses. Those are where we were getting hit. So here is what we fired off. I see now. That's better. 81 ground based interceptor, 16 pa Patriot missiles, four more of the Pac 3 Patriots, 
10 SM3s and 12 FADs. So it looks like of all that, we intercepted 36 of the Dofang 31s, one megaton nuclear warhead. So that also meant that the remainder of these were not lost. So I will kick over in part two. We'll go to the nuclear war simulator and we will see exactly what happens when these warheads actually detonate the, on these cities and what kind of losses we have. So clearly saturation attacks work. They're very effective. Our ballistic missile defenses are not designed to defend against saturation attacks. If we want to have any hope of that, we would have to complete overhaul. We'd have to look at something like the Brilliant Pebbles concept, which there's some concerns with that. There's direct energy weapons. There's a lot of different stuff. But a saturation attack, generally speaking, you'll be able to build more missiles than you will be able to build defenses against those missiles. Therefore, limited attacks. To the best of our knowledge, the best of our information. So, it's a stark reminder. Mutually assured destruction. We have still, to the best of our knowledge, more warheads than China does. We would obviously be able to counterattack and cause an equal, if not greater, amount of damage. Having said that, our losses would be insurmountable. You saw a loss of cities, key points. Of course, some of the targeting I allowed AI to do, which is, you know, again. But, you know, having said that, still. Uh, get an idea. Huge amount of losses. So, largely a lot on the West Coast. Some of the weapons that China has um, would not be able to hit some parts of the East Coast, but they have a capability to hit the entirety of the United States. Have a great weekend, everybody. Just a stark reminder. Um, like I said, be on the lookout for part two. If you enjoy these videos, please like, please subscribe, drop me a comment, any kind of constructive criticism. Um, like I said, certainly not a professional, but I enjoy doing this. And I enjoy the feedback I get. So, thanks everyone.